Well, hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to talk about some battery malfunction codes that I received in my Smart 453 electric drive that sometimes cause the car not to start. I also want to discuss with you some issues I had with my rear cooling fan that were run all the time, whether it was hot or not. First of all, I was having an issue with my exhaust fan blowing all the time. Didn't know what was going on with it. I'll be trying on different occasions to show you how loud the exhaust fan is, but bear with me, this may not come through clearly. Now I'm gonna show you exactly how loud it blows when I uh, unlock it. Hmm. Not as loud as it normally is. I'm sure it will kick up when I plug it in. I don't know what's going on with it. But it blows every time I turn it on and continuously while I'm driving, which uh, runs the battery down quicker than normal. Pardon all the pollen on my car, but you hear that exhaust fan going? That one come, that comes on as soon as you unturp the car and it just goes on the whole time and it's normally much louder. I'm gonna try to figure out what's going on with it and I'll show you what I do to fix that problem. Now you can hear how loud it's blowing. Yeah, that's a, that's the code I was giving the brake system malfunction. Don't know what they're talking about. Now you can hear how loud the thing really gets sometimes. I searched extensively online to find a solution to this problem, but I didn't find anyone who would start discussing it until I found this one post where the person mentioned there was a service recall on the smart car. Recall number 20190301010. Uh, that affected the battery management software that needed to be updated. When I took it to the dealership, I found out there was a second recall on the same problem. So they were able to fix those two problems for me for free, and I had to pay $428 for a fan that had gone bad, and that's why it was running all the time. The day after I picked my car up from the dealership, I started getting another set of error code. It says charging not possible. I didn't understand what that meant. And I got a couple of other few codes, but not the same ones as before. And I had no longer any issues with my cooling fan. So I figured out it must be the 12 volt battery. And I called around Air 12 and I found batteries for it, but they were kind of expensive. And believe it or not, I went to the Mercedes Benz dealership and it was cheaper there than anywhere else. That's a first. I ended up having to change the battery out in my smart. One thing I noticed that wasn't shown in the videos is there's another bracket for the electric drive another bracket down here that hooks the battery up from the top. Here's the piece that goes across right here. It's not shown in the other ones. So not only do you have the bracket at the bottom that's been held down to the bottom there, there's a top bracket here that you have to put on. If you ever start smelling the smell of sulfur in your car, you really need to check out your battery. I didn't realize that the battery was spilling into my engine compartment and I had to go to get it checked out. And as you know, I got it replaced, but I suffered some damage along the way. When the battery <coughs> spill caused was coming from the engine and it got into the paint, creating those discolorations right there. I didn't realize it till much later. So don't let your battery get out of control or the acid would mess up your paint just like that. It also discolored my battery boats like this. You 
because of the battery acid got all over this compartment. And then when you use that engine cleaner, it kills your rubber pieces like this. So the rubber pieces fall apart. So do not use engine cleaner on this plastic engine um, area. So other than the damage caused to my car from the battery acid spilling out of the engine compartment and my being foolish enough to use engine cleaner on that area to clean it up, my car is back at home and working fine. Thank you for watching.